Hello and welcome to week nine in developmental psych. And here we are, we're getting toward the end here, chapter nine out of 10, late adulthood. So here at uh, chapter nine, we're gonna be discussing late adulthood. In the discussion, I'm actually, uh, I included in the course book a very special essay that was completed by a person who used to teach for us quite a while ago, who I got to know quite well, Dr. Robert Vion. He has now passed away, but left a legacy of deep thinking, lifelong learning, and just all around nice guy. And uh, his essay on the wagon wheel regarding the role and existence of elderly people is a fascinating read. So the discussion, I'm, I'm gonna make you read it and then I want you to discuss it. Discuss it in terms of your own life, your own future, the elderly people that you do know in your life, maybe the individuals who you are interviewing who are either in or approaching that age in their lives. Maybe give it to them, let them read it. Let's have a discussion about that. I think there's deep wisdom in what Dr. Vian has left for me to include in this class. So I'm very appreciative about his role in uh, this part of the class. The quiz takes a look more at the you know, functional areas of uh, development that are happening in late adulthood. Let's pick on memory. Uh, we actually know that memory loss is not necessarily a simple function of aging. So that, you know, the senior moments and stuff like that, if they're problematic, it's probably because there's a problem going on. Uh, we don't necessarily lose our memory as we age. Uh, things, other things might become more important. Person may have been absent-minded before and now, the, you know, it's even less important for them to be able to find things and whatever, or that was actually a personal <laughs> reflection. I lose things all the time. My keys, my wallet, my mind. And it is, uh, it's increased over the years. I don't think my memory is getting any worse. Uh, I think it's getting focused on the things that I want to keep around, particularly uh, the knowledge base that I have here in uh, topics that I teach. So that's it for this uh, for this week is the discussion on Bob Vion's Wagon Wheel essay and a quiz on memory patterns as they exist in your subject, getting your subject to talk about that, how clear were their memories, you know, were they sharp as a tack or, or did they have to do word searching or something like that? Or maybe, I know at least one of you is doing a, uh, you have both uh, parents or both grandparents there and they might help each other in terms of remembering particular things about their life and uh and that's you know very much uh one of the ways in which spouses play an important role in late life and very important why we have a tendency in late life to gravitate to people who are age mates who have a similar historical clock that we do to help stimulate the retention of those memories so Really, really neat stuff. This is uh, for many of you who are in the healthcare field. Uh, this is an important chapter, even though there's not a lot of deep assignments and whatnot, but understanding how the elderly head into this last stage of their lives, uh, not the last one, that's the death and dying one, but understanding late adulthood and what it means is a very important part because we tend to use most of our healthcare dollars during late adulthood. So that's when we're seeking more help. How do we ensure quality of life? How do we make sure we don't make assumptions about someone's ability simply because they're old? That's a form of ageism, just like the assumptions that we would make about a young person being unable to do something because of a lack of experience. Two forms of ageism going on there. So let's keep an eye on that as well. Learn a lot from this particular chapter. Make sure you're not only reading the course book, but you're also reading the textbook, which is goes into things that I don't cover, but are still important for you to get out of this class as part of your independent learning goals that you have in this class. So I will see you in the discussion board. It's a beautiful, beautiful week that's looking in front of us. The semester is coming to a close. So as we are 
putting these last assignments together, you're working on your biographies, you're getting those in, go ahead and submit those. I'm ready to go, start grading, and then let's close the semester really strong. You've all been doing so well, been so impressed. Keep carrying it to that last furlough, that last length, the horse is running, make it to the finish line and make it there strong. And it's been a great experience this summer. So I will see you in the discussions. Enjoy the day and take much care.